back to my channel. Welcome to another makeup video. In today's video, we are going to be doing a start to finish Valentine's Day date night makeup tutorial. Um, I'm going to be doing my hair and also um, putting on some lip gloss because my lips is always crusty. But I'm going to be doing my hair and also my makeup. So if that is something that you're interested in, please keep on watching. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and also tap the notification bell right next to it and let's roll the intro. Okay, so I'm already knowing that this is going to be like the longest video ever, but um, I figured that I might as well do a start to finish kind of makeup look. So I already have this bald, this cap on my head. This is from like earlier in the week and um, when did I put this on? I put this on like Tuesday? And it's still on. I just had my Curology little headband thing over it. And well, I worked out with it and everything. And I'm just going to make it work. Even though it's kind of like rising up in the back. We're not going to focus on that. Um, I'm going to be using my Deshore hair wig. Here she is right here. Say hey girl. Let's take a picture. <laughs> um, I'm going to be working with her today. Um, I just did... A little side part um, kind of look today and I curled her um, but yeah I need to I need to get her off the head okay so in all seriousness she's thinning out <laughs> I've had her for about a year and um, I just used to treat sis so wrong but so, she's thinning out. I need a new one of her. But, um, yeah, I just haven't purchased a new one yet. But, we are going to wear this wig because it's Thursday. So, I'm actually going to be wearing this wig probably tomorrow for Valentine's Day. Even though we're staying in and I have a crap ton of clients. Um, you know, I still might want to look a little mommy in. So, I am going to use my um, Salon Pro. This is the Daily Lace Bond Hold. Um, so, I got this at my beauty supply store. And in all actuality, I don't really like her too much. Let's make sure she's right where I want her to be. Um... Yeah. Okay, so I don't really like her too much. She's a bit much for me. Meaning it's just... A, it just smells like alcohol. And I don't like that. So I definitely need to invest in some better like, like wig glue stuff. Because... She just stinks, but she does a good job. Like she's good at what she does, but I just think she just smells like, mm -hmm. I don't know what she smells like, but, but she definitely holds. I will say that. She's sticky. Ugh. You know, one of these days when I get like really good at laying my wigs and y'all really can't tell me nothing, then I'll probably invest in some. Oh shit. See, I didn't got it on my hair. Okay, let me close this stuff up because <sighs> shit. Now I'm gonna pull her down this shit everywhere Ooh. 
So I always get like <laughs> the perimeter down pretty well. Oh, I fucked it up over here. Okay, so I think it's time for the baby hairs. Um, I got it down as best as sis is going to get it down. Oh, this side over here is cutting up. Now I got glue in my hair oh my gosh it's a mess okay so which way am i gonna swoop did he swoop swoop this hair so i'm just using this um i don't click i don't oh no who the brand is it says BB. It's the foam moisturizing wrapping lotion. Um, it's just what I found works for me personally. So I just go ahead and use this to do the little baby hair action. And honestly, it takes me quite a bit to get my baby hairs kind of like right I guess you could say so I will definitely be fast forwarding through this part Okay, so I'm gonna tie it up with a head scarf. Okay, so since I just did my brows on camera, um, I will link that video for you at the end of this video. So you can just check that out, it's in depth. I literally tell you everything, give you tips and tricks if you're a beginner, everything like that. So I won't be including that part in the video, just um, for time's sake. Uh, so yeah, I'll be right back and I'm going to scoot you guys in so you can see what we do for the eyes. Oh my gosh, you guys. So I am also on a um, water diet. I mean, not a water diet, but had this bubble cup for oh my gosh four years and um i eventually stopped using it because i didn't have something to clean the straw and this was before i was an amazon junkie um and then this past winter or this past christmas my father-in-law bought me like a <laughs> a metal straw set because i'm always asking for a straw like i don't drink anything regular i don't even drink my mimosa without a straw um i mean i drink wine without a straw but pop, water, unless I'm like drinking out of a water bottle, I'm drinking it out of a straw. So um, that came with a cleaner, a straw cleaner. So I busted this cup out because I needed to drink water. I've already drank two of these. Well, I drank one last night, filled it up, and then drank another one like all the way down to here this morning. And then, so that's like, I think it has measurements. Oh, nope, it doesn't have measurements. Um, so yeah, I drank quite a bit. <laughs> Of water and then I just refilled it with a water bottle but I'm trying to get better about um, drinking water just because I know that's a, a health aspect a health part you know that will help me get healthy um, but yeah that's, that's where I'm at right now um, we did eat out well Okay, so I usually, because um, if you watch my trying to conceive journey, 
for why I ended the last video I posted. Um, you know, I was talking about, you know, putting my focus on like getting healthy and everything like that. And um, one of my subscribers had actually <laughs> reminded me that my doctor told me that if I didn't get lose some weight before I got pregnant, that I would probably have gestational diabetes while pregnant. And that's always been like a fear of mine because you know diabetes is really prevalent in the black community in general. Um, and then from always being a healthy kid, person, whatever, to causing myself to have diabetes is just a completely different thing. Like, as opposed to being born with it, you know, making yourself have it, I'm just like, Girl, if you don't get your shit together, like, so, um, I did have KFC last night, <laughs> but that was the only thing I ate yesterday, the only thing I ate. Um, I'm going to go into the Umrazi palette. I'm going to take, um, OG. I'm going to take OG, and I'm going to take it with the Sigma E35 blending brush. This is going to be my transition shade. Um, however, um, yeah, that's just my biggest fear, but... Um, I was just thinking, I'm like, um, if I'm eating one time a day, like, does it really matter what I eat? But at the same time, I know it does. But we had just gone grocery shopping, and I don't know about y'all, but when I go grocery shopping, I'm not fucking cooking. Like, we even bought, like, a frozen pizza to make, because we were like, you know, what are we going to eat tonight? We got to go grocery shopping. This just ain't the time. And we ended up um, picking up a frozen pizza and we just didn't end up eating it. So um, I was just like on the way home, I'm like, mm, how about we get some KFC or something, you know? So I did get some KFC. I also got a Pepsi and two chicken littles and I forget what else it was, but I'm going to take the Warrior 2 palette from Juvia's Place. This, um, I remember seeing it and I was so intrigued and when it first came out, I couldn't get it because it was out of stock, but I got it. And I'm going to take the shade um, Kufura right here, the chocolate brown. You can use um, Yodit if you want as a transition shade. I wasn't sure how it was going to apply, so I just didn't do it. Um, I did swatch it on my hand and I, I kind of felt like it was a little dark, so. You know, whatever. I'm gonna take this Delazzi color blend. It's an L211 brush. It's kind of like a, a, a M441 or a E25. But I'm gonna take Kephora and blend this into the crease. I'm gonna get it nice and saturated. We're doing a matte look today. If you um, were curious, uh, well, I'm sure you saw it already from the intro. Delon. <sighs> However, um, yeah, so, um, we had KFC last night, and that was good, it was good and everything, I don't eat KFC often, and I've been trying to not eat out if I could, if I can, but lately we haven't had any groceries, so literally, like, all last week, we had no groceries, so we literally ate out all day, instead of going to the fucking grocery store, we would just be like, what are we gonna eat, and something would always come up, either... I'd sleep through when I said we were going to the grocery store, or it'd snow really bad, or I'd have the baby I was babysitting, or just something, just something would happen, and then we'd be like, okay, we'll just try another day, and then we just wouldn't go. Excuse it to us, Rutherford's over here, we always have some type of excuse. <laughs> um, so... We didn't go grocery shopping for a while, and then finally yesterday, it snowed so bad. Like, if y'all, if I turn this camera around for y'all to see outside my window, y'all would be like, oh my gosh, especially if you don't live in the Midwest, you'd be like, oh my gosh. The Midwest to the East, like, the Northeast, you'd be like, oh my gosh, um, because it's crazy. So, I'm going to go on um, Walzana right here. It's a cool tone, like, grayish, black kind of color. I'm going to take that and I'm going to take it on a Morphe M506 brush and this is going to go out in the outer corner. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's crazy. But yesterday I was just like, yeah, we need to go grocery shopping. Like we don't have anything. We didn't even have water. Like we have a, um, a, like a Brita 
I have a water filter uh, jug thing that Nana gave us a while back. And um, I like, now that I've changed the filter, because we didn't change that filter for like a year or two. Now that I've changed the filter, like the taste is okay. Like it's bearable, but I still prefer the purified water taste. And I know that's not the best. It's supposed to have spring water and you know, all of this, that, and the third, but I was just like, yeah, I need my water bottle. So, especially with like working out and stuff, like I need a water bottle, but now I have this bubble cup. Like I could take this to the gym with me and I think this will be enough water. Because um, I did find an Adidas cup that we had from like something that he got for Christmas, but I just felt like I needed a water bottle. So I was just like, it's snowing, it's crazy, it's mushy, it's it's pretty disgusting out, but we cannot make another excuse as to why we're not going grocery shopping. So I was just like, let's go, go ahead, take your shower, let's go. So that is that. I'm just taking a little bit more of Kephora or Kufuru. Kufuru. Where did I get Kephora from? Kufuru. I'm taking a little bit more Kufuru and just going back over the top of that. Um, I'm going to take a little bit more of Walzana and just go through the crease one more time. Because um, I am going to cut this crease. So if you are following along and you're doing this look, you do not have to cut the crease if you don't want to. I'm going for a more sexy but wearable date night look. So if cutting the crease is a little difficult for you, just go ahead and pack the color all over your lid. You can take the same concealer that you use to prime your lid and just pat out a little bit um, so it has a tacky base. But I'm going to take Kana down here. It's like a taupey, cool tone, grayish brown. I thought it was a really cool color. I'm taking the Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvas. This is in the shade Create. And I'm going to take a dose of colors. Oh, I got all of that on there. I'm taking a dose of colors concealer brush. Um, actually, you know what? I'm not going to take this one because I don't think it'll be light enough. So I'm going to take my... Eyelid primer from ABH, and I'm gonna use this to actually cut my crease because it's white. So I feel like it'll be light enough to um, to really give the true color of Kana down there. And like I said, I'm taking a dose of colors concealer brush that I just like flattened last night. Um, if you follow B, B Marie or um, Kiki Adams, they both always do this with it, like their concealer brush. They make it like really flat so you get like that crisp kind of edge. All I did was take, um, I didn't like follow their their technique to a T because I know they both have a video. So um, you can check out B. Marie's video or Kiki Adams video. It, it, I think it's one of her newer, B. Marie's newer videos. But um, all I did was, I watched her Instagram, I think it was, and she just kind of like did a run through of it. Um, but I used my e.l.f. or my NYX glitter primer. So I used the NYX glitter primer and I just kind of put some on, I just put it on my tray. Cause I have a metal tray that I put foundation and stuff on. I put it on the tray and then I just kind of dabbed it oh, on both sides and then I kind of smoothed it out. And then I took um, my lash glue and I just kind of brushed them on both sides and kind of like patted it out and also smoothed it out. And then I took a duckbill clip, so one of these, and I just like placed it on here so it get flat. And then um, before I went to bed, I just kind of shaped it to how I want it to be and just pinched it together like, like this. And then I just set it upright. So, and I think it turned out okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease and then I'll be right back. Oh, 
Okay, so the crease is cut. I didn't go like too crazy or anything. The one thing I will say with having this brush a little more thin is um, patting out and smoothing out the concealer is a little um, more difficult. Um, but other than that, it cut it really nice. So like I said, I'm going to take the shade Kana right down here. I'm actually going to take an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush today. It's just the regular eyeshadow brush. I'm not sure if they use, if they sell these. This is so old. I'm not even sure if it's a part of their collection, but it might be. It's like the dollar brush, so it might be a part of their collection still. But this um, cool tone nudie brown is so cool. Um, when I swatched it on my skin last night, I was like, oh yeah, like that's a different kind of color and like I can get behind that. So I definitely wanted to use it. And the reason, uh, another reason I wanted to use the e.l.f. I, or the, sorry, the ABH primer is because I know for sure that the eyeshadow won't be patchy. Like I know that it will apply really, really well um, to the primer. So. But look at that like it's it's cute but it, it's not overly loud like it's not overly bright either so um, if you want it to be extra you can apply like a little bit of glitter liner on the lash line that would be cool that's another way that you can do your um, do a makeup look but for me personally today, I'm not going to do that, but I'm going to take my M506, just a little bit more of Wal Walzana, and just kind of just like feather it, and then just go through the crease. Now I'm going to take a little bit more Kana because I feel like I just came in a little too far. And there you have a nice little gradient fade and you can do some um, black eyeliner if you want you can smoke the lash line out if you want do a little glitter liner if you want do whatever you want um, personally for me I'm going to take this glitter um, from BH cosmetics in warm espresso it's a chocolate glitter and <gasps> I've actually never used it so, so I never keep the sifters in just because it just makes easier to not have the sifter in but I'm going to close that up and I am going to take the glitter primer from L or from BH Cosmetics. What the hell? I can't speak. From NYX if I can find it. I'm going to take the glitter primer. I actually need to order more of this because I'm just about out. I'm going to take my glitter primer and I'm going to take this the Lazy Angled Liner Brush. It's in S204. And I'm going to draw like I'm going to do a wing liner. And if tape helps you, you can apply some tape. Okay, and now I'm going to take a Moda Brow Designer and just apply this right over the top. neutral eye and like I said you don't have to do the cut crease if you don't want to I think this would look really really pretty as just a blown out kind of like you know 
Um, I would do it the opposite way, so I'd apply Kana first, which is the light color. I'd apply that all over my lid right after I set my concealer. Then I'd go in with my transition shade and my two crease shades, and then you just pack a little more Kana just to make sure that you have, you know, the color there. And then do the glitter liner, and you'd still have the same effect. It just wouldn't be as, like, dramatic, so to speak, but it's so pretty. So for my lashes, I'm going to put on my more lashes in the style Whipped which looks like this, really extra, start small in the inner portion and wisp out. That is personally my favorite type of lash. I like a nice wispy lash. Um, yeah, now I might have to rethink my lip color because I was thinking I'd do um, cork and knock on wood, but since Kana is so cool, I don't know. I don't know, but I'm going to do my other eye and then we'll, we'll do the face. Ooh, this video is going to be long, baby. Okay, so right now I'm having a dilemma um, because I don't know what lip to wear. So the last time I did a neutral eye, I did do, um, I used decaf from um, Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. Um, but I whipped out gray over it, which is a matte lipstick from Maybelline. This used to be my shit. I've had this for years. There's actually shit on the side of it, so it's probably not good, but, you know, I am I might wear it for the video. <laughs> but I think I might go with this color just because the lid is cool tone, but on the flip side, the chocolate liner kind of pulls out the reflex of this color here, but I think I might go with gray over it, but that's just that stuff later, so... So I always put on my lashes last, if you're wondering, like, why she tell us what lashes she's wearing she didn't put them on? I put them on last. But I'm going to use the Benefit Professional Primer today. I haven't used this in quite some time, and I used to really like this primer. Especially in my cheek area. Oh my gosh, I have such large pores. Um, and then just a little on the forehead and the chin. Ooh, is there glitter on my hand? Uh oh. Nothing new here. I'm gonna mix my two ColourPop foundations. Um, one in Deep Dark 195, and then the other one in Deep Dark 185. Um, I still haven't picked up 190, which I think is my perfect shade. Um, but for the time being, you know, I'm just gonna just use what I have. It doesn't. Um, presents too much of an issue to me personally, so I'm just gonna use this and I'm gonna blend this in with the beauty blender. I don't I don't use too much of this foundation because it does move around um, quite a bit um, and it does cover really well and especially since um, wearing like frontals and wigs, I'm able to pull them up further on my hairline. Um, I think my actual hair starts like way back here, so um, you girls receding a hairline uh, takes up a lot of that foundation, but um, I think I'm gonna have to re swoop de swoop swoop my baby hairs because right now they're looking a little stiff, they're looking a little uh, glued down, and I don't like that look. So yeah, but for the time being, I'm just going to blend this in with my beauty blender. Okay, so for for concealer, I'm gonna use another one of my um, favorite concealers. It's the Milani Conceal and Perfect. This is in deep tan. This concealer, just like their foundation, like I really do like their foundation. I haven't used it in some time. Um, I actually need to use their foundation sometime because that's one of my jams as well. But this foundation just, or this concealer, just full coverage, just looks so beautiful. Um, I'm gonna go right in afterwards and set it with my ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder and Banana. Um, just letting you know before I start doing that because um, I usually like to just go in and set it right after so that way I don't have to worry about increasing or anything like that. Um, I'm going to blend this in with my Beauty Blender once again and patting motions always. Um, if you like to swipe, you can swipe, but I personally found that patting definitely um, is best. It blends out the product best, but to each its own.
So to contour or bronze up the skin, or whatever you want to consider it, I'm going to use my Black Radiance Contour Palette. This gets me right all the time. Um, someone was asking what this brush was. This is an It Cosmetics Heavenly Luck Complexion Perfection all over. Uh, oh, yeah, it's a Heavenly Luck Complexion Perfection brush. It's a number seven brush. So this side is an all over brush and this side is a conceal brush. So that is what she is. Um, I just recently, like once I washed my brushes, because I used to use the Morphe. I used to use a lot of brushes. I used to use the um, Pretty Bar, the big powder brush from that brand. I used to use the Morphe contour brush. Um, and then when I washed my brushes and I was just like, I don't know if I want to use a Morphe one, I had to use this one. And it's so soft and it just does such a good job. It's small. So like when I'm wearing a frontal, I can get this non-existent forehead, which period, we love a non-existent forehead. Um, so yeah, it just, it just does good. It's just, she's good, she's good. Okay, so she's cute, she's snatched. Um, I am going to use the NYX blush. This is an HD high definition blush in bronze. Now, I'm using this color because I don't want a lot of color on my cheeks. Um, and I was just switching it up from my Black Radiance blush. This one's like a nice, like, peachy kind of blush. Like, it gives a little bit of color, but it's not, like, too excessively, like, overly colored. But she is, like, mom. I've had her for a while, and I always loved her. Especially when I'm doing a peachy look. Don't get me started. So for highlighters, I'm gonna mix two highlighters. I'm gonna like place one on my cheek first and then I'll go in with the other. These are the mix, the mix. Milk and mix, mix together, mix, okay. <laughs> These are the um, Milk Makeup Flux Highlighters. This is in the shade Glaze. And I remember when I first got this shade, I loved it. Like I loved the highlighter, I loved the consistency, I loved how popping it was, but I didn't love, um, the particular color like glaze um it's nice i just prefer something a little like you guys know how i am a little frostier a little extra hour um and glaze just isn't that girl so i usually lay glaze down and then i'll go in with um iced which is way more frosty like she's yeah so i'll take her and just go like right over the top of the cheekbone. Now, this is why I don't switch up my highlighters too often because it's not ideal. I don't like to mix highlighters. Um, I just feel like if I can wear a highlighter and wear a product that I know for sure works for me and it looks good on me, then that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so that's pretty much the face. All I need to do is um, set it. So this is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I'm not going to spray it now because I still have um, my nose contour going on. I'm going to pop on the lashes, change my outfit, fix the swoop to swoop. Well, I'll probably take down my hair on camera since this is a complete get ready with me. I bleached this hair and the color is starting to fade. So you can see in some areas, like you can see right up here, it's like starting to turn brown, which isn't bad, but I'm still like, mm, what is she going on? You know? <laughs> so I'll be back. Okay, so your bougie auntie has arrived, or niece, or whatever. I still don't have no earrings on. Oh, I don't, oh, hmm. oh my gosh. So my fucking camera is trying to play me. But acting like it's just dead or something. I'm finna die. It really is. It's a low battery. <sighs> However. What is this curl doing right here? So I think I am going to use that grayish kind of color. Um, but first I'm going to take the Kiss Lip Liner. This is in the shade Chocolate. 
And I'm gonna line my lips with this. Okay, and I'm gonna take the Maybelline lipstick and gray over it. And I'm gonna put this all over my lips. Wow, I didn't realize it was this dark, but it's kind of cute. It's actually way darker than I expected. Okay, okay, I'm gonna take some gloss. This is the Fantasia um, Ultra Glossy Lip. This is the ColourPop <laughs> Ultra Glossy Lip in Fantasia. And like I said, this is basically like a clear. So I'm not gonna get like too much color, but the purpose is to make this glossy because I have the matte eyes and I don't really want matte eyes and matte lips. I need something in my inner corner. I don't think the Amrazi palette has a light color, so I'm just going to take Bay Area. It's sitting on my desk from ColourPop and just pop this in the inner corner. I just felt like I needed a little extra pop there. Um, I'm actually gonna take a little ice as well. Yeah, that's a little better. It's a little lighter. And then two lower lash mascara or two not. I'm kind of liking, I'm kind of feeling how it is without it. Because I generally don't do no mascara, but kind of cool. I think I've only done no mascara maybe once and that was uh, um, like a Christmas look a few years ago but you know what I think I'm gonna leave it. I think I'm gonna leave it. Um, also this is um, uh, I think this is I think this is real mink um, so don't kill me in the comments because we love the animals over here but this is my grandma's and I just pulled it out of her closet um, actually, she brought it out of her closet, and it's a vest. It's so cute. Don't mind my bra, but it's a vest. It's too small for me. Um, it has pockets here, and it's so nice. Like, the shoulders are pretty wide. You can see. Um, it's so nice. It's so soft and everything. Um, but, yeah, this is out of Nana's closet, another Nana find. And I'm living. I feel like the bougie auntie, which I guess I am. I guess I am the bougie auntie. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big fat thumbs up. So that way I know you enjoy videos like this. Thank you for making it all the way through this video. If you did, this is my Valentine's Day um, date night. Get ready with me. Mm. <laughs> so I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.